Hello, welcome to another Nerd Out video with me, Daniel. And Ellie, aka Wonder Woman. Yes, I have Wonder Woman with me right now. <laughs> Bless her, being so isolated for 10 days. She's gone insane. Haven't you, darling? If, if you could see her right now, the face is pure hatred and anger. But let's get let's move past this before I die. So we're going to talk about Justice League today, aren't we? Yeah. So it's been... Well, it's, been almost, it's been two weeks now, hasn't it? Jesus, I can't believe it's been... Yeah, it's two weeks since we've watched Yeah, I mean, it's been waiting for this What I remember it was the summer of last year. And I, just, I think just before you picked me up and I was going to yours, and literally the first lockdown happened... And I think we heard on the uh, John Campier show that the Snyder Cut is not a unicorn. It is a real horse. Um, it's not finished yet. And it's not finished yet. And we're actually getting it. And it, I can't believe it's actually just come and gone. It's um, absolutely ridiculous. Can but have a bit of that? Yeah, you can have a bit of that. So, but, um, so Justice League, we didn't have to pay for it, which was good. Um, if other you, it, than Now TV. So. Other than Now TV, yeah. But that's still... That's still fine. So we saw it on the Friday, so we saw it a day later. So Ellie, what was your first thoughts? I it doesn't feel like it's for a four hour long movie. And mm. I think it's because it's that good that you you don't realise. Like the parts go so they don't go quick, but they feel like yeah. they're going quick because you just you don't want to take your eyes off it. Oh, no, definitely. Well, originally, it just was supposed to be chapters, and that's why they did that. Um, when he did that time, which is like that mother box one where they're playing the music time, and apparently that was supposed to be the uh, opening for each scene. Not each scene, sorry, uh, for each episode. Uh, but then when they decided to scrap the episode episodic idea, which I've actually. So, see, some people prefer it. Some people don't. I prefer it just as as it is, as just one long movie, but with the chapters, which is quite good because it's that bit you know. So when... like you can you can watch it and say, oh, yeah, well, you and wa say you've got something to do. You can watch one chapter, pause it, go do whatever you need to do, and then come back and watch another one. Hundred percent, and that's I think that's a big selling <laughs> point because we can do it. Uh, but I, I think for a lot of people, it, it does put you off when you see like I start watch Irishman. I don't even want to watch it, but I'm just put off. It's just like it's a Martin Scorsese film. I know the type of tempo he does, and I'm like, oh, could I do four hours of that? But I do love Al Pacino. I do love Rob. Um, what's his name? The guy from uh, Dirty Grandpa and Robert De Niro. I do like Robert De Niro. It's just I don't know. I, can I do four hours of that? I'm just so I can understand if you're not even a big fan of superhero films. I, I, I can kind of get it, but this is... I think this is more than just a superhero film. It's like a... A mythological, like, of... Like, gods. You yeah. know. And it... I, um... Because I've been self-isolating. IT Retu... Um... Put... The Josh Wheaton one on. Mm. I think it was... Last Saturday... And I was like, oh, I'll, I'll watch a bit. And I actually got really annoyed because you saw how much he changed it. And how much the butchered, yeah. They just didn't like the tempo. and He was setting up. They was trying to catch up. And, and I'm like, okay, if you can't do there's so many films to do like what Marvel did, he did it. I mean, David Ayer did it in Suicide Squad. You see Steppenwolf in that first. Yeah. Well, no, you see him in, sorry, you see him in BVS. But you, you actually see, I think you actually see Steppenwolf in his physical form. And, you know, Suicide Squad was meant to be the perfect layup to Justice League. So, I mean, this, you know, the studio wrecked Zack Snyder's universe because they didn't believe after BVS. But, you know, look at it now. BVS sold out. But anyway, we're going off topic a bit. But yeah, it's just the comparison. This is the clearly better version of the film. I mean, the music, Junkie XL, they've, you know, his music's back in, and I, I loved it. I loved, like, because I love Watchmen. I love, I love, I love the, the slow-mo stuff. I love the reason why the movie boxes woke up as well, because oh, yeah. they heard Superman's death. death. Yeah. 
Whereas... I mean, that opening scene was but, this fantastic yeah, one. Uh, yeah. when you saw the Avantians, you saw the Amazonians. The music is just perfect for this. Um, I, I mean, I have no complaint. I, mean, I think the biggest complaint I have with the film is there's some scenes, and this is only a few scenes, I think they lasted a little... He panned on there a bit. You know, like when the... Um, when Arthur was leaving yeah. and those women were singing. I didn't mind that. I just thought it maybe went on maybe five or ten seconds a bit too long. There's a, there's a little bit. That's just a personal thing. No, I think it was perfect. Because if we watch the original 2017 one, the theatrical one, yeah. the, there's literally no music until you hear Wonder Woman f fighting. Yeah. You know, there's nothing. Where was that yet? You instantly knew it was Wonder Woman, you know, going on to, in the Amazon, you know, so, yeah, I, I don't have a problem with music as much. No, I'm not saying so much the music, I'm saying, like, the scenes being extended, you know, and some scenes could have been a bit shorter. There's, there's a few scenes. Only a few. And, like, you know when that, um, with, with the terrorist, with Wonder Woman, and she did the thing, and then the hat fell down on the car, and that police officer was looking... And he's got a shot of him. I thought, did you really need to have a shot of him for that long? I'm saying if you want to cut things out of this film, you would cut those scenes being so long because you don't need to pander at a character, which we're not going to see again, and you don't see that British police officer again. So like, why are you um, pandering at him so long? Yeah. So you, I, you could cut those scenes out. Yeah. But like the other guy that we live, Cyborg's dad, the other scientist. Oh yeah. They cut him completely out. Oh yeah, I mean there's actors. Work. I mean there's actors in this. I mean you see um, Barry's girlfriend, and to say that the same canon, the same connected, and all that, twenty seventeen one is. But you casted the girl from Zack Snyder's Justice League in the Flash film as Iris West. So, and I don't know. There's a lot of actors you you see. Um, and it's just how the actors perform, like, Ben Affleck is great, Henry Cavill, you know, when you look at any, the comparisons, it's just ridiculous, Lois Lane, you know, she's mourning. Yeah, you see more of them. And the, a the grief, is this, Barry, uh, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, I mean, his, back, his whole backstory. You see more reason why she's grieving as well, because it's not oh, God, yeah. Threads. It's just, it's just it's awful and cyborg. I love one of my favorite scenes is when his dad left uh, that tape recorder and he's just telling him about all, all his powers and stuff like literally you you are capable of so many things and they're showing you. I loved a bit with the stock market and how he could just throw that away and that that woman that uh, with the two kids that she's really struggling and he just grew her money to a hundred grand like that. And um, I love that scene because it just it has so much heart, and I'm like, well, I, I, I I understand in films, and they did it with Peter Jackson. You can't have you could do the extended cut of Lord of the Rings in cinemas. It's just because you, cinemas have certain amount of screens, and the more screens you have, it's like when I work in the cinema. When we had Endgame, it didn't feel as busy because the film's like three hours long. But when we had the last Toy Story film, it felt busy because literally. Every two hours was a new uh, Toy Story in the screen, so we was working twice as much because there was more people coming in. Mm. You see, see what so you see what I mean? It's this. So I understand you have to cut stuff, but the way they edited this film was poor. Honestly, I mean, I thought when I, when I first watched it, I thought, okay, it's gonna be like BVS. Um, they're gonna have a cut and it's gonna fix it. Uh, but there was no cut when I got the when I got the Blu-ray, no extended edition. I thought, oh. That was the film. <laughs> that was the film I actually got. I thought, that's a bit, that's a bit shit, isn't it? You know, even Suicide Squad. That had a 50-minute extended one. Now, don't fix the film, but it... There's... It it, ever so slightly, yeah. But the way they edited that film was awful. But how they, how Zack Snyder did it, because he knew, look, this is on HBO. People can watch it. All of it, people can watch it in bits. It don't matter. So he didn't have to really... Worry about it. He can make it as long as he wants, as long as it just, it doesn't affect the story. And I thought he did it spot on. And okay, let's talk about one thing because we don't want to make this too long. Okay, another thing I want to talk about: Steppenwolf design. He's Holy so, shit! <laughs> he's so much fucking scarier. 
in this it's than he is in the theatrical. But but, but I can't, I want to argue about something about this. I don't think he's too, too scary. Look at his eyes. He has puppy dog eyes. And I thought, really, you thought this was scary? I've seen scarier stuff. He's not... He's not... I don't mean he's scary. He's just... Oh, no, no. He is meant not... to... No, I know what you mean. And it's this, but you just look at him and think, oh, he looks cute. <laughs> yeah, especially and when he's, like... When he's really upset and he's talking to Dessard. Like, you, and he... you can... Just looking in his eyes, it's oh, like... But I... It's like looking... Uh, one of the dogs when mm. they've been in trouble. Oh, but I mean, I love his fight uh, scenes, but I love the scenes when he's talking to Desada, then we talk to Dark Side, like, you, look, I want to come back home, you know, give me 50,000 worlds. I'm like, what? <laughs> so this is not just, oh, I turn up to a planet, I conquer it. No, this planet has to have life. I must find 50,000 planets with life on it to conquer before I can go back home. Holy shit. You know, it's... He's you, finding more worlds. Yeah. Like, he's been conquering more what? before Yeah, this. Uh, so it's... You it, got a better under... You actually saw Darkseid in this as well. Which, oh, that was cool. Which... I mean, they, 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 they part of the... I mean, voice actors, they get the money because, my God... When, you, when I heard them on the... I was watching him on, I think they called like the vodka stream. I think that's what the guy calls this part of his channel. Um, and he was on that. And the way he was talking, I thought, this is a really nice guy. I, I did, he, did he put on his like dark side voice? And I thought, whoa. <laughs> I thought, wow. So dark side was great. Desard, um, you don't see, you don't see uh, Granny Goodness. So it's, I mean, you see her, but you don't hear her speak, but. It's no, it's just so much better. I didn't the end fight scene. That was just so much. I mean, without spoilers, and um, that was great. That was so different. And like the epilogue, you know, that was what ten fifteen minutes. And it's a long film, yes, and it is a commitment because not everyone has like the time to sit down and watch it. But well, that's a good. Like we said, it's like it's that's a good thing about. It being in parts because you don't have to sit down and watch the entire film from beginning to end. You can pause it and go watch, it, go do something and then come back and then watch yeah. another bit. Because I know I not I don't struggle as much anymore. But when I was younger, I'd really struggle to watch like even the. Three-hour film. Yeah, I mean, look, it's not. Uh, it's it's not for it's everyone. Not, it, like even a two and a half hour film, I'm a bit like. If I'm not enjoying it, I'm like, I can start to get fidgety. Yeah. Whereas because this is in parts, if I can go right, I'll watch first and second part today. Watch. Do what? Well, well, there was on about having like an intermission for this. If so, if this was going to be in cinemas, there was going to have like a. They do it with um Bollywood films. Some some of them because some of them are three four hours long, and we do our Odeon. Um, if it's that long, they will have an intermission for like a ten fifteen minute break. So you go to the toilet, get some more popcorn or whatever, come back, and the film will come back on. So that's a good idea, and that's get and that gets people to spend more money if you think about it. Yeah. So. Yeah. You know, and I need it definitely because when we watched it, um, I needed to pee. I've got a tiny bladder, so it was awful for me when we was first watching it. I mean, you you could just manage to get through Joker. Oh, that I I, so, I love that. And film. we we all because we watched it with your mum. Yeah. We knew you weren't going to be able to go through the like, entire film with. Out having to go, so it was good that we could just pause it while you, or even me if I needed it. Yeah, no, definitely. It. Okay, well, we're gonna just two more things and then we're gonna give our final ratings and call it a night. So, okay, um, do you think that okay, let's just say there's a 50 50 chance that they're gonna ex keep on this side of the verse? There is a 50 50 chance because a lot of people in ATT. Uh, people at HBO and some people even at Warner Media they want the side of us. Obviously, Walter Hamada and that don't want it, but it is, you know, people arguing. But let's say if it is happening, we do manage to get it. 
do you think it'd be better to do it in films or do you think it'd be better to do the HBO kind of style of let's do it episodic? Because, I mean, they did it Game of Thrones, uh, Westworld, you know, they are great at doing their episodes and with good quality budget. I mean, look at Mandalorian. That's a series. And that does really well with with having good CG. I know, but then again, would, would that's you kind of Disney? That has oh no, but a oh, unlimited budget. And that's Disney, what? but 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 look at HBO. HBO. Look what they did with Game of Thrones, where they spent millions on every episode. That kind of. Mm. So I'm just saying, would you, okay if budget weren't a problem, would you rather have it in series, I'd or would rather, you have, or would you rather it in the movie kind of? I'd rather have it. This is my opinion. Yeah. I'd rather have it if it was on HBO. Which is TV, which is more which is more likely to be on HBO. Yeah. I'd rather have it as a series, just because I don't because I've got work and I've got other stuff. I don't have the time to watch a full movie. Because you do get tired on the night and you just want something yeah, easy. Like I, I want something just eat. Like, um, I'll put the comedy show on most of the time and I'm like to you, I can't watch this today, I'm too tired. Mm. Whereas if I'm watching Zack Snack, if it's just like an hour for, or a 45 to an hour episode, I'm like, most oh, like, yeah, most likely, can, Most likely it'd be an hour. I can actually... Watch that. We could just we could just save it for the weekend, even. It would most likely be on like a Thursday or Friday. But yeah, but. So you think episodic just because yeah. you could get a lot more out of it? Um, I I want them to do fifty fifty. Like I think some series and films would work. Like, do you need a Deathstroke series? No, but can you have like a two hour Deathstroke film? Well, his origin story is what Joe Manganiello wants. Yes, I think that should be a film. Because he said to make that film he wanted, you need about forty million, and you could do it with forty million. Judge Dredd, which I love that film to bits, that was made with forty million. So I reckon I agree with you partly. I reckon some of the stuff like the Cyborg, um, the Ben Affleck movies last HBO series, I think should be a series. Yeah, because they they we keep hearing different things like series film that should be a series, uh, but I think Cyborg. Um, Atom Smasher and Deathstroke, I believe that should be films. But yeah, I think series for Justice League, I think that would work because you don't have to rush it. Yeah. So um, it's, like, it's like some you can bin you you could bin literally wait for it all to come out if it because some series comes out weekly or and bin to watch it or you can just watch one episode a week, you know. And take your time with it. Yeah. So, you know, it's not a big. It's not impossible, no. no. Okay, um, I forgot my last question, but let's just go up to final rating. So, 10 out of 10, what would you give this? I'd give it a 9.5. Give it a 9.5, so give me one you thing that really bothered you, just one thing. Just how many slow mo scenes were in it. Okay. I know Zack Snyder likes his slow mo. You won't know. So maybe don't take them all out. Maybe just, just take so, my... so I, you needed them in the flashy scene because it shows. Oh yeah, I, I want, I want, I want to change that at all. But some of them with Superman watching the flash run round him. I did. Uh, yeah, like the, I can, I get when it. He's fighting Wonder Woman and stuff. She's not fast. But like she's not, yeah. so I don't know why. I oh, know I get that. You'd need a, a slow mo of them fighting. Okay, so for me, I reckon I, I it just took me ages to really, just really bug me because I didn't want to be like, I know what I'm like with films, so I, I wanted to think about this, and I think a nine for me. Uh, I think the one problem I had, I think, it's okay. If I'm just going to mention one thing, Wonder Woman's theme tune. You know, that Greek kind of, I, I like, don't get me wrong, once or twice, that's fine, because it is, I love it. But every time you saw it, it was like, Whoa. sorry, that was a real poor attempt, but I was like, oh, again, I didn't mind watching the first time, but I've watched it fully three, four times now, 
some people have watched it 10 now. What, you lucky bastard. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, I thought, did you, you really need to have it every time? Maybe no music or maybe different one. You know, you didn't need to have it. Well, I mean, once or twice, that's fine. You didn't need to have it every time you saw it. And I felt like it. you had it every time you saw it. But anyway, 9.5, 9 out of 10. So that's not too bad. Anyway, guys, we hope you enjoy this for the few people that are watching. We do appreciate it. You uh, sorry for um, repeating ourselves sometimes. Oh, yeah, they understand. They'll just skip forward to their best bits anyway. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and take care.